Good afternoon and welcome to Robert Centre in Wilmington, Ohio. For the last time, it's the final of the 2022 Fargo Rate Sponsored US Pro Billiard Series Ohio Open. We started with 64. We are down to the last two. Who will lift the trophy and receive a check for $25,000? Will it be Federal Gorst? Or Roberto Gomez. It's the Moscow Machine versus Superman. So it's Dobri Din to everyone in Russia and Mabuhai to Filipinos. It's two races to four. It's Temple. So let's play some pool. With me in the booth is the assassin himself, Tony Robles. Oh, it's such a pleasure and a treat to be here with you in the final mark. We're, I'm pretty sure everyone's expecting fireworks here. Well, you know, it's the ultimate thing for the pro players and like yourself to play in a final. And for somebody like me, it's a privilege and a goal to commentate on finals. So I'm in my element. Yeah. I know you are. Oh, yeah. You may not be a part of playing it, but you're certainly going to be a, a part. Sorry. Yeah. I was calling the shots. Let's go, guys. Well, Roberto, Roberto unfortunately mishit the one ball there and, and, uh, on the break. But uh, towards the end of the match against Kachi, he started adding a little more power to the break, and, and that's when he started pocketing the ball. So let's see if he's thinking of doing the same thing, because I, I said previously that he, he possesses one of the, the most powerful breaks in pool. The reason why a lot of people don't get to see that break from him is because the break has evolved with all these new breaking and racking formats. Yeah. He's not called Superman for nothing. He's got plenty of power. Can Fedor Gorse provide? Can he be the kryptonite? We're mm -hmm. going to find out. It's two races to four, guys. And if we're level after two sets, it will go to a shootout. The format stays the same. The race stays the same from the very first ball yeah. to the very last ball potted in this tournament. There is a 30-second shot clock. Each player will get a 30-second extension each per rack. And you get 60 seconds after a break and after a push out. He called the, the bank here, which is not a bad shot. I would imagine he's going to try to hit it on the thicker side. Well, I guess he gave it back. But I would imagine if you're shooting or going for this, you're going to hit it on the thicker side. So just in case you miss it, it goes back towards the side pocket. And, and if you kill the cue ball enough, you might potentially end up playing a little safe here. Absolute packed Roberts Arena here. We also have the Ohio State Championships going on, the BCA League Championships. And there's a nice crowd around this arena as well. Good shot, but I don't know if you let him see it, did he? I think he might have done, you know. Yeah. I think this is on, Tony. So, a slight mistake there from Roberto. And this is just the kind of shot Fedor Gorst loves knocking in for fun. Can he get to the potting angle, though? Maybe not. Well, if he can hit it dead straight, I think he's going to go three rails to leave the one in the top of the table. Let's see. Nope. He's going to go behind the 10 and the 2. Great oh, shot, man. Look wow. at this. Look at this for a wow. shot, Federal Ghost. That's an incredible shot. See, I didn't think he could do that without scratching in the corner, but obviously he could. Look. He hit that with such perfect speed. Look at the, look at the control here, Mark. And look at the gap he found between the 7 and the 8 as well. Absolutely gorgeous, Ghost. <laughs> Don't start laughing again. We get in trouble. You're here to work, not have fun. <laughs> never, we never have fun. <laughs> oh, he's gone oh, well he's wide short. of that. One of the jokers on the circuit, always great fun. He was entertaining the crowd in the warm up. He, yeah, it looked as if he was aiming wide there, Tony, didn't it? Yeah, came came shorter than, than what I expect. You know, you at least expect him to get a little little close to the ball. He missed it by about almost a foot. And you and I have spoken many times of, about Fetter's ridiculous cue ball control. He, I know I say it all the time, but he's just one of these players that I could just watch and watch and watch and never get bored because he just strokes the ball around. He cues so straight as well. 
get so much power into that cue ball with very, very little effort. Looks like he's just dollying it through. Mm -hmm. But he's not, he's timing it perfectly. All about the speed of the tip through the cue ball. I would think he's going to go two rails here for the five in the corner, upper right hand corner. Other option he has is go with follow across the table and play the five in the lower hand, right hand corner. I like going two rails here. That way you can let go of your stroke a bit. Over here, it looks like he might have no choice but to run into the eight, which won't necessarily be a bad thing. He can use it as a stopper. Question is, will he hit it soft enough to prevent the eight from going towards the rail? There's the Arcos two. Don't yeah, tie he the actually wound up, up tying it up. I'm, I'm pretty sure he wanted to hit it fuller than that. He, was, he wasn't he was trying to move the eight towards a, the opposite rail. I'm pretty sure he wanted to hit it just enough speed to just move it past the seven and then use the six to get to the seven. But unfortunately, he overdrew it a bit and hit the bottom side of the eight. Yeah, he glanced off it, didn't he, and pushed it. I think it still goes, though, into the bottom left as we look. It does. In a minute. Yeah, this one down here. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Good recovery. for the final is John Lehman. He'll be keeping a close eye on things. <laughs> Just such a stroke he's got, yeah. isn't he? That one almost uh, popped out a bit. Or at least it tried to. from the players playing their finals in the leagues. I wonder if he's going to go three rails or try to uh, go forward with, with follow. Let's see. Three rails. Wow. wow. That's a rarity. Yeah. I think he, he got lucky. Well, yeah, he held he, his he hand. Let him see the, he let him see the boy. He can make this. Yeah, he can make it. And Robert is really good at, at uh, cutting these, these shots in. John Lehman wanted to come and play the shot for a second there. He come <laughs> around for a look. Just wondering if he's going to try to run into the eight ball or try to shorten the angle to come short of the top right-hand corner. I mean, the only other thing I see is a stop shot, if you can see the entire ball. He overcut it. He missed it on the pro side, though, mm -hmm. as they say. Yep. So it hasn't left anything. He's left a thin edge for... Goal, yeah. So can he get through? If he can, he might shoot a three rail bank here and use put the eight near the nine and stop the cube in front of the ten. Kind of like almost lining him all up. Yeah, but I he is a bank master. I think that's what he's playing. That's if he can get it past the side. If not, he's going to try to thin it. Yeah. I'm surprised he did that. Simple. He had to hit that with perfect, perfect speed. Oh, he's not happy with that. And as we all know, uh, Roberto's an exceptional banker, just, just like Feder. Can he cross bank so this? He can definitely cross bank this, but I don't know if he, if he was more comfortable playing shape on the nine by cutting it in the corner as opposed to banking it. He's playing it in the corner by the looks of it. Very nice. Oh, beautiful Very nice. shot. He was just hoping he didn't overhit it. <laughs> what a great shot that was. Struck it perfectly. Look at that. Hardly touched the sides. Held the cue ball with a nice angle just to draw back now for the 10 ball to take this first rack against the runner play. Just come right past the center of the table. And this guy was a set down to Eklund Catchy in the semi final, and you never saw him getting anywhere near Catchy. And then he steamrolled the second set and then won the shootout. In he goes, Roberto Gomez, 1-0 to Superman. So let's have a quick look, Tony, at their route to the final. Fedor Gors beat Alexa Pachel in the first round and then a shootout. 
He then beat Sullivan Clark from New Zealand on another shootout. And he was then, of course, knocked to the one loss side by Mika Imminent, who, well, at times looked like the old Mika Imminent. Uh, Daniel Maciel, though, suffered a two set defeat to Fedor. And then he beat Kazakis on that very famous shootout where Kazakis, to win it, wobbled it and it stayed in the jaws of the pocket yeah. for what seemed like an eternity. And then, of course, last night, late night drama when he beat Francisco Sanchez Ruiz in an epic late night match on another shootout. Back to Roberto Gomez. Let's see how he hits a one ball here. And the set against Kachi, when he cut break the one ball, he made it in the side. Tried to go there, the six went in. Ooh, nine was on its way. But I love the fact that he threw more power, his body more into the. Oh, to the, it's just the ruined the one. yeah. The eight ruined the one there. The only person I know that this shot is a hanger, makes this shot look like a hanger, is you, Mark. One seven combo. Only because I'm always out of position, I have to play combos. <laughs> no, well, I have no choice. That's a lovely shirt Roberto is wearing there. Sponsored by Predator, of course. I wonder if he's going to try to stop the one ball with the nine and hide him underneath the seven ball. Nope. He's cross banking it. That's a good shot, actually. I like that. I like that a lot. Well, I think he might find himself in a bit of trouble here, though, behind the, the nine or the, or the seven. Yeah, he's definitely going to try to put him behind the seven here. Right? Look, just that's, like that's that. Just a key right perfect, there. absolutely perfect. And that's another, you know, aspect of Fedor's game that a lot of people don't realise. He's such a terrific safety player as well. I mean, look, that is just millimetre perfect, brilliant. And you notice when the cue ball came off the one, it looked like it had a lot of speed, but since he put it with inside, it died immediately afterwards because he's not only adjusting for the thinner hit, but also for the fact that the table's still sliding a bit. Oh, wow. look, he hit the point there. That's the second. That's the second one in a row that yeah. he's gone way off. So it just needs to find his bearing. Turn that Filipino sat nav on. They've all got it in them, haven't they, these Filipinos? Normally so strong at kicking. Yeah. That's why whenever we've been so spoiled by them that whenever one of them misses a kick, we're, we're in shock. Well, you know, that needs to go. That We should have another highlight reel for for bank shots, or sorry, for kick shots that go wrong because they are so rare. So another chance for Gorst. But remember what happened in the first rack. He didn't take the chance. emotion Fedor wielding his wand a magic wand and he's definitely going to shoot the combo 7-9 obviously leaving the 7 in front of the pocket but still you need to, to achieve the correct angle to do that which he has absolutely zero problem with his impeccable cue ball control the nine as you said of course Ernesto Dominguez look, stood at the back there right next to Billy Thorpe wasn't it or was that Niels Fyan hit it with speed just in case he makes both of them uh, he doesn't even have to he had a nice th thick hit on the nine ball
Fedor, who is now living on a farm in Minnesota. Wow. Have plenty of them here in Ohio. I dro drove by it every day on my way to the hotel. It stayed about 20 minutes from here. I think he's been arriving by tractor every morning, actually. <laughs> so, no problem whatsoever. It's going to be 1 1. We're all tired and we're expecting it to be close all the way through. And we're going to go just for a very, very short break, guys. But we're going to be back very soon. We're so happy to be here in Roberts Centre in Wilmington, Ohio, and we know you are as well. Welcome back, guys. Pat Crowd enjoying this tremendous final of the 2022 Fargo Rate sponsored US Pro Billiard Series Ohio Open. Gorse to break. We're level in the first set of two. Breaking mm. from the middle, made a ball, has a shot at the one. And look, nice angle to come across for the two as well, Tony. Yeah. At first glance. Let's have a look, Tony. Little bit off centre, but if Tim were next to me now, he'd be going crazy. That <laughs> wasn't straight. That wasn't straight. I want some more pop. Yeah, it's true. You always want better. I'm talking about in, in, in general. Yeah, of And course. as always, we want to make sure we say hi to Mama Gorst, who's always watching Fedder's match, and also Christina Takash. The boss, a.k.a. the boss. She is the boss. Yeah, she's playing the tournament at the moment in Tennessee. The sledgehammer, good luck to you and all the other ladies. I know Kelly Fish is there. Monica Webb has come out for that one as well, I saw. Good to see Monica back playing in tournaments. I back. really respect the fact, sorry, that he <laughs> decided to play safe there instead of going for the offensive shot. Yeah. Which, by the way, sorry, uh, remember when we mentioned earlier how many people were here? Karim, the owner of Predator, said it's not over 500 people. It's close to 1,000 people that are here this weekend for this tournament this week. So it makes sense because it's so crowded here and everyone's crowding up around these tables for the shootout for the match. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I was just going to say, Fedor... He's going to take every opportunity he can, I think, to play safe on Roberto, especially mm -hmm. after those first two misses on the on the attempted escapes, right? right? Wants to keep him under the thumb. And he's got another result out of it. And that's what you're looking for when you play a safe, get a nice opening. Oh, nicely played. Wants it to run a little bit more. No, obviously by the look on his face it hasn't come quite far enough yeah, just slightly the wrong angle yeah I'm wondering if he can either run into it or either way even if he can't run into it he's going to get close to it so he, of course he's going to take the fact that the table is sliding into consideration because sometimes the inside spin doesn't grab enough to get you far enough for the cut could come short side on it yeah, he can play. He could play up in the corner, but he has to have an angle. He needs to have an angle for that. I guess that's this is what they call player's choice, preference. Yep, he went the other way. Yeah, that's okay. I think he has he has enough angle to where he might even be able to slow roll it past the eight ball. It's hard to tell from here. He can slow roll it past the eight ball then he can play the four in the corner on the side. 
thing is that he has to make sure he doesn't sweat the cue ball by passing the eight ball. A lot of times players do that subconsciously and they end up overcutting the ball because of it. He's going high on the cue ball. So yeah, I can't going see him through. going behind the eight here. <coughs> Very nice. Yeah, clever shot that. And you, you cannot describe how accurate you have to strike the cue ball to get it to, to do what he's just done. Mm -hmm. Somebody mentioned the term earlier, Fedor played like a god, and he certainly did in places against Dennis Grave. I spoke to Dennis after the match, and he said, what could I do? I had a couple of chances, I missed them, but apart from that, Fedor played perfect. Yeah. It's hard to beat perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Nice again. Just a little draw for the eight into the side. And he wants to attain just enough angle on the eight to come over to the other side of the nine to come back down for the ten. Yeah, just nicked a little bit there. Perfect. Well, we've had 118 matches so far. We've had 52 shootouts. It's very impressive, isn't it? Well, we're going to end with one. Not impossible, of course. Oh, I like the way he's played that. Stunning down. This is worrying for Gomez. Fedor on a feeding frenzy. So let's talk about, but let's talk about your week in general, Tony. So you played in this tournament. You started out, I'm sure, very confident and feeling good about your game. Mm -hmm. How did it go for you? Unfortunately, I didn't play that gr that great against Roberto in my second match. Pretty much missed everything in sight. Uh, the second match. I played much better, way better, took it a 3-3, and I missed a 10 ball to go to the shootout. Yeah, that one hurt. That one stung a lot. Uh, then after that, I played against Wojtek, and I played a, a really, really great match against him. I, I, I definitely had, uh, well, I couldn't say a chance. We went to a safety battle Hill Hill in the second set, and I needed to win it to force that into a shootout, but he got me in the end. But overall, I played great, and I'm very happy with the way I'm playing right now. Looking forward to the American Straight Food Championships in Virginia starting Monday. So, good had luck. fun. Good luck with that, mate. Thanks. And let's get back to this match then. Gorse to break. 2-1 looking to go on the hill. There's that second ball. Yeah, there's and the there's four a corner ball. But no shot on the one. Well, I wonder, will he bank it in the side off the, off the two ball? Big pocket, Tony. I know I'm crazy, but you know. No, it's not crazy. It's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> he might, he might, he might try to put it behind the three or the ten or the seven. And that, that's my guess here. The other option is to parallel the one, six, and eight. But that's a slightly tougher. If he makes even this though you have the eight and the six and the seven, you can put him behind. But those are, I think those are the two options that he has here. I like going thin and then coming behind the three. Or I can't see because I, I, I can't see the balls. I just and like, the three saying, or the ten. I just like saying nuts things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, perfect way. Really is keeping the pressure on. And I like what he's doing here. No oh, yeah. need to take any risks. He's playing very smart. players beginning to realize, you know, big prize money this, $25,000. Yes, a $10,000 difference between first and second. 
I didn't even see you use your calculator then. So he'll call his extension. Now he went wide on the last one of these he attempted. Well, he's going to play this with some power, trying to stop the cue ball on that top rail, probably. Oh, you hit it great. I like the speed he hit that with, Mark. Takes a deep breath after his inning. Obviously hoping for another opportunity. He was doing a few little trick shots earlier when he was warming up. We heard lots of laughter and cheering. We thought, hang on a minute. As the final started, and we come up, and there's Roberto there doing his thing. <laughs> yeah, he was entertaining the crowd earlier. They, someone asked him, are, are you always this funny? He says, only when I forget my medication. <laughs> 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 you got to love it. I love it. Yeah, terrific attitude he plays the game with. What is he looking at? Is he looking at playing the combination, or is he looking... Gonna try to put him behind the seven, I think. Yep. Well, got a little got friendly bumperoni there, but let him see the one ball. Just caught a glimpse of Sean Brooks there. He was one of the players who won the championship here the other day, I believe. He was telling me all about it in his uh, American. Top. We'll go back to him at some point. Oh, oh wow! He went for it. Short. He he normally hits those shots so well. I think he might let him see the one mark if he did. Well, this might be another Federer run out. I'm not sure he can see it, can he? Maybe we can see it from another angle. Yes, yeah. he can see it. There's the angle provided by Clementine. So nicely on the two ball. Wants to get on the other side of the six so that way he can stun the cue ball across the table for the seven in the lower right hand pocket. So if he's able to, he might want to draw this back a little bit. I don't think he can. I think he has too much angle. He might have to go up and down. Yep. All about there you the go. pace. Perfect, perfect speed. Well, oh, he made a the face head. there, so... The oh, head. he didn't get... Well, it looks like he has it. Um, he definitely has an angle here. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think... No, because I'm looking, here from, no, but I'm, looking, I'm looking at the actual table. I'm not looking at the monitor. And from here, it looks like he has an angle. Ooh, did he overhit that? He's okay. I mean, even if he has to stop the cue ball there, he has a perfect cut on the seven to come around, as long as he can get past that nine ball. Still just a little bit here, can't it? If he wants to. Didn't have to. <coughs> Two rails back into the centre of the table again. It's going to go, if he goes for this shot, it's going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, well, not even. Oh, wow. Oh, he's he, It's it. almost like he let up on the stroke a bit. I thought he had enough angle to go four rails so that we can let his stroke out a bit. We kind of like decelerated a bit there and wound up undercutting the ball a bit. Wow. Yeah, I know he's just a shock. And I know Roberto's shocked, but in a good way. Yeah, he's used Ralph Oh, first. wow, oh, he's, wow. He's messed this up. 
Well, both players feeding it then. <coughs> Feder must have been thinking. But you saw what happened there, right? The cue ball curved a bit after he came off the rail, slid. He caught it much too thin as well, didn't he? Mm -hmm. the, uh, too thick, rather. I, I like calling the bank here and trying to leave the cue ball behind the nine just in case it goes in. I at least have a shot at the nine. See, I, I don't know about that shot. Yeah, he's gone all out for the safety there. Didn't attempt the bank. Now then, one of these big strokes for Fed Up. It's amazing what a one game swing can do. Instead of being 2 2, it could potentially be 3 1. It's going to go two rails. Oh. He missed it. He missed it. Wow, well, you can't. And he miss might have this. gone away with it, did he? Nope. Real rarity. And he didn't jump up or anything. Own. He took his time. He lined up the shot, had no movement. He just probably ended it correctly. It was a similar shot to the seven he missed in the opposite yeah. corner. Yeah. Exactly the same shot, wasn't it? Cut back into a blind pocket. And instead of going ahead 3 1, we're going to have a tie. 2 2. Superman beginning to fly. The Moscow machine could be faltering. It's in. And we're out. Just for a couple of minutes, though. I told you we'd come back. Here we are. Ready for rack number five. We're all square, 2-2. Two, two. Roberto Gomez, let's have a look at this big break. He's going from the side. He's trying to camouflage his hand with the blue-colored uh, glove, right? <laughs> didn't really hit them, did he, Tony? He didn't hit him as hard as he did the previous break, that's for sure. Definitely took a little off of that one. chance for Fedor. How's his confidence after missing those two balls, the seven and the eight in the last rack? 
Yeah, he's weighing his option. Should I play safe or should I try to pocket the one, go between the side pocket and the eight, come between the eight and the three and play the two in the corner, which I think is crazy. Only because I don't think the three goes past the seven ten. But we're about to find out. Well, if he's digging he down, he's it. going for it. Yeah. He's going for this off the side rail, back over for the two. Into and the side. Got, and if you got straight on the two, you can always draw back with the three in the side. Oh, like with the opposite. Wow, man. Shot. Yeah, man, that's the I didn't right. even I think he had he an doing. angle to go past yeah. that. Wow. <laughs> Brilliant. It, it didn't even look like he can go come before the side. How could he even hit that? <laughs> man. Are you that's learning? why that's, why, he, that's why he's in the final that's why you know how it is mark you know if you're there playing you already know the angle you know what you're going to do but when you're looking at it on the screen it, it's never accurate it's not always 100 percent accurate we we do the best that we can to try to see the shot the way that we would normally see it on the pool table yeah nicely on the three guaranteed to get to the four could say he overhit it slightly, but mm -hmm. that's being picky. Always striving perf perfection. Mm -hmm. Nothing yeah, wrong with that. Yeah, he's just going to go right in between the six and the rail. Play the five and then play the six in the opposite corner. The question is, is he going to shoot the seven ten? The seven ten looks really good there. He's okay. He's gone far enough that he's got an angle to just stun out for the six. Into this bottom left-hand corner as we look now. I think he's going to play the combo. Because the six is, is on the opposite side of the table, which makes it easier to come off the rail if he needs to, to go towards that 710. I guess we'll have a better idea depending on how he gets. Yep, he's definitely going to go for the combo. Because he would have left more angle well, he's on the six ball. He, over, he, he has. And that's the difference between you and him. You would never overhit that shot. Never. Very interesting. You saw he was aiming, aiming slightly below some, them, the center. Somebody, he, yeah. somebody mentioned this yesterday when they were watching him. I was sitting talking to them in the, the arena. And he said, watch how he aims middle and then goes down on the cue ball. Yeah. I mean, that's not textbook, but it works for him. Yeah. There's no right or wrong, just whatever suits you. If it works for you, Tony, then it's right. Yeah, I, I knew a guy growing up that used to hit him, a hell of a player. Nice shot. Yeah, and it goes 3-2 Fedor Gorst on the hill now in this first set. And he would aim the cue ball high to hit it low and low to hit it high. It was the strangest thing, but it worked for him. So we come to an end here today in Ohio. It's been a fantastic four days of competition. Especially for that man there leading in the final. And then the whole thing gets packed up into crates and trucks. And we all head to Puerto Rico for the 14th when we play the ladies yeah. and the men's. Well, talking about Puerto Rico, why don't uh, you tell the viewers about the sponsors oh, for this event? Shall I? Absolutely. I shall then. Rums of Puerto Rico, Madaya Light. Now, I know you don't drink the stuff, but yeah. we've got, we've, you don't mind me mentioning them, of course. We have Kamui and Seabirds. Seabirds.com, all you need for your pool supplies. Go and see them. Tables, chalk, cues, the lot. And, of course, our main sponsor for this particular event, Fargo Rate. Thank you guys so much. It's because of all you give us means that we can give these pros such big prize money. He's going right down the center at this one, Tony. Put your helmet on. Yeah, and last but not least, CSI and Predator, right? That's the name of the series. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, and that's the trouble when you're going yeah. dead center. 
and you don't hit them dead centre. The cue ball's squirting to the right or the left. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking he might he might want to consider shooting the two off the nine in the side because the nine stopped in a very bad spot there. Let's see where the nine ball stops. Yeah, people might think that's bad luck. It's not bad luck. It's mm -hmm. it's bad struck. I like that. Let's see. He's got to think of the angle he wants on this two ball now in order to get to the three. Yeah, well, I mean, don't be surprised if he shoots a one off the six to open the pocket for the three and then the two off the nine uh, to get the nine out of that, that spot. Now, killing mo killing, killing now, multiple birds with one stone. Now who's stones. nuts? <laughs> now who's nuts? Yeah. Well, he actually might be doing it because he's just moved the cue ball there. Perhaps he has changed his mind. Yeah, he hit it kind of hard, though. I'm surprised he hit it that speed. He's not going to be happy with oh. this. He didn't need to hit it that hard. Yeah, he was, you see, he was trying to shoot the two in the side off the nine. Open up the pocket there. I wonder why he did hit it so hard. I mean, the only thing I could think of is he wanted to make sure that he forced the one ball to stay longer in the tangent line. But, you know, if you hit that shot soft, that billiard, the, the one ball picks up forward momentum and it'll kind of like dip a bit before it reaches a pocket. So you want to hit it hard enough to maintain that tangent line coming off the object ball. But I, I still think he might have been able to get away with hitting a little soft. He got there. I love it when you explain things in such depth, Tony. I try, I try. Very nice shot from Roberto there. Nice speed control there. I used to practice this shot like crazy. I would hit one rail, call the two in the side, and have the cue ball follow by the three ball. Just in case it goes in, I can still shoot the three or, or play safe. He likes hitting it soft and playing it safe. Oof. Oh, he's asking for trouble there. You gotta hit that. You gotta so have to hit that so one. Perfect. Soft. Misjudged it. Trying to send it past the three ball. But see, if you hit a little further to the right, you can bank the uh, the two ball in a straighter line, and have the cue ball creep up underneath the three. Ooh, ooh. He did not hit that good. Don't ask me what he played there. Oh wow! He left the eight in front of the pocket. Yeah, believe me, he's 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 sick. He's sick. He's thinking about how hard he hit that one ball. Yeah, he should have been out by now. Mm -hmm. You know me, uh, Mark. I will always promote straight pool, not just because I love it, because of how important I think it is for a player's game. You know, when you play straight pool and you shoot a shot like that, you take it into consideration how hard should I hit the six and where's the six going once it come, the one goes off of it? What, is it possible for it to come back across the table and, and stop in front of the three again if I hit it too hard? Absolutely. Could it end up stopping in front of the cue ball? Absolutely. And when you, 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 you start thinking that way when you're coming off balls, you're more mindful of shots like that. Yeah. The lesson there, play more straight pole. Talking of straight pool, Jason Shaw at the moment is spending three days at Streetlights Academy. Oh, I didn't know that. That's trying cool. to break his record and trying to run a thousand, Tony. Yeah. Well, if anyone can do it, he can. I think Federer could do it too if he dedicated himself more to straight pool. Uh, well, him and I spoke about the possibility of him coming to Miami so we can work on straight pool. I uh, would love the opportunity to, to, to help him out. Um, you know what's good about that? that Kick, ball, kick shot when the he made the two eight he moved the four into perfect position to shoot the four off the nine and open up a, you know take the nine from that from that horrendous spot yeah, he's on the three now four to follow yeah that's horrible isn't it that nine ball there and that's why he's played it like this he's yep. gonna go He's called the four. It's going to go off the nine, though. Bring that nine into play. Just don't catch the nine too thick. Could get a double yeah. kiss here and miss it. Still got to be careful. Yeah. Over here, you definitely can aim to hit the four straight to the pocket. You have to hit the edge of the, the ball 
to the point, the left edge, well, from his perspective, the left edge. That's it. Perfection. Slow up now nine ball, see, see, slow up it? nine ball. He's but you okay. see what I'm talking about? That's another straight pull shot. He hit it with the correct speed to make sure the nine ball doesn't get tied up to the 10 or come, or if it bypasses the 10, it comes and stops near the six. As always, Tony, it's not just entertainment, it's education as well. We love it. Oh, he's over here this slightly, is he? No, no okay. that's where he wants he's to be. Okay. He hit that great. Perfect, yeah. Thought he was going to run on a little bit. And again, I, I always love coming off the second rail to guarantee myself that I don't have any shot of freezing the cue ball to, to the second rail. It sometimes gets magnetized, doesn't it? Yeah. So this to take the first set, the nine and the ten. He's halfway to winning his third US Pro Billiard Series tournament. He's already won Arizona twice. The way he's going, if he keeps it up, he, he'll own an open cha uh, championship for every state <laughs> that we go to. Okay, we're going to come back with the second set very soon, guys. And we are back, guys. The players are just on a, a little bit of a break. Gives me a perfect opportunity to give you Roberto's route to the final. He beat Dimitri Jungo from Switzerland 2-0 in the first round. And, uh, well, he beat another guy not too far from me, 2-0. Tony Robles, of course, <laughs> in the second yeah. round. He then went on to beat, well, the new sensation, the 14-year-old from Finland, Riku Rompanen, 2-0 as well. Sorry, no, he beat him on a, on a shootout. That's right. That's a shootout, correct. yes, it was, I remember now. And then Jan van Lierop last night on a shootout also. And I was saying, Tony, we've had 52 shootouts now in 118 matches. And that equates to about 43.9%, roughly. Yeah, that's, that's, still, that's still awesome. And it has gone up the average of shootouts because I believe it's the, the competition now is getting so much stronger and the players coming into, into this are, are beginning to realize that they have to change their game to win this type of mm -hmm. it's true of format you know and they have to play smarter earlier in the match or just period in general because you can't take the risk that you would in a longer race because in the longer race, you can kind of make up for that in the long run if it's a long race and not, not in a race of four. Yeah, we just saw, oh, look, there's Amy. Amy Kane. Amy Kane from CSI. You'll see her presenting the trophy a little bit later on. Oh, she's on her phone. Oh, hold on a minute, I'm busy, Amy. Yes, <laughs> I'm a bit busy, Amy. Sorry, I'm on the <laughs> microphone at the moment. Can I call you back a little bit later? Thank you. This is why, why I enjoy doing commentary with this, with this guy. <laughs> and there you see in the background, absolutely packed with pool players from all over the state of Ohio come here to enjoy the CSI leagues. They play all year round and then they come here for their state championships. 
They really are There's some lovely beards around as well. Look at that beard yeah. on that chap. I thought it was a mask at first, but it's not. Yeah, it's over 800 or 1,000 people here. And they have a lot of people outside watching football games. They're doing a barbecue outside. Are they? Oh, yeah, right, right towards the well, end of the parking lot. What are we doing awesome. in here, then? <laughs> that looks like the guy from Orange County Choppers, is it? Yeah. He's waving to us anyway. Hello, yeah. mate. How are you? Hey, thanks for waving. <laughs> it's Bill Clinton, look. <laughs> <laughs> See who else we can spot in the crowd. It's my buddy Jonathan from Cleveland, Ohio, with the green hat on. These fans enjoying it, and it's, that's what's so great about these events where you're getting the mix of all the, the league players in amongst the pros. One of the few sports where you can come and get up close and personal with all your heroes. There's a CSI Predator US Pro Billiard Series banner. You just saw a lovely little... Oh, the little look. one. Oh, That's look awesome. At him, That's look. awesome. I miss my boy. I miss Antonio. Hello. <laughs> oh, and it's lovely. A family affair. All we need now are some players. Where are they? They're probably fighting through the crowds trying to get back. It's funny when when uh, when Roberto was playing Kachi in the semifinal, I said Kachi's coming back to the arena, but where's Roberto? I think and, it, and Tim, no, Tim told me Roberto was behind Kachi, but Kachi is so tall you can't see Roberto coming. <laughs> <laughs> There's Roberto. You're going to appear on your screens and right behind him, Federal Gorse. We're ready for set number two, guys. Here we go. A nice warm round of applause for both players. Federal Gorse, one hand on the trophy. He will break in the second set. Roberto started the first set off. From now on, it's winner breaks and another race to four. If Roberto can win it, could we end with a 53rd shootout? And how many, were this, is this Roberto's third final? Yes. Hoping for third yeah. time lucky. Yeah, he's come five short ball, every time. Five ball went. Now then, well, no clear shot. He's got a shot at the one, but don't know what he can do with it, if anything. Hit I think pretty that, square. in my opinion, I think that's that's the best he's hit, and hit, hit the break since the match started. Would you risk... It was very, very solid. Would you risk caraming the two here? If he can hold... The thing is, if he risks caraming the two, the seven is blocking the side pocket, and the eight is going to stop the one. So he doesn't really have a shot on the one unless he can, if he feels comfortable enough to hit the side of the two so the cue ball can escape and then he has a shot on the one in the corner, that's a possibility. The other thing that I can see him doing is, is hitting the ball thin and trying to play safe underneath the, uh, the 10 and the 9. He has to manage the speed well because he would sell out on the one if he doesn't hit it correctly. Oh, he's caught the 10 ball. Yeah. Well, this is a chance, Tony. Roberto needs to get off to a good start. Yeah, I don't know if he likes rolling this. I mean, he, he likes rolling balls. If he, if he rolls this, he's fine. He'll get past the four. But if he decides to hit it low, he, he might be considering running into the four. But has to be careful not to overdraw it because he'll make the two as well. Not that he won't have a shot in the three, but you don't want to risk going behind the four if you do. So he Ooh, ran into the four. Just oh, missed yeah. the two as well. Got yeah. mighty close to it, didn't mm -hmm. he? But that was a nice shot. If he's going to hit it low, he's going to go two rails and run into the four to use it as a stopper. But guess what else he did? He didn't hit the four too hard when he ran into it. How many times do you see someone run into a ball like that and then it freezes in the point of the side pocket on the long rail? Got to be mindful. Gotta it's be those mindful. little things, yeah. isn't it? It's always the little things, Tony. And talking about little things, I miss my little one. I'm looking forward to taking him trick-or-treating. He's going to dress up as Sonic the Hedgehog Is for, for Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Some people say I look like Sonic the Hedgehog without even trying. Yeah, my wife Gail 
uh, bought three different outfits so that he can choose the one that he likes most. Wow, he hit that great. Yeah, got an angle that wasn't really there. Forced it off the route. But you know, you, you know what I love about what he did in that shot more than anything? He made sure he made the ball. He could, not that he doesn't care where the cue ball goes, but he didn't really focus on the cue ball at all. He already made up his mind, knew where, where he wanted the cue ball, but made sure he made the ball. And look how low he cues that, that, that ball. It's, it's, it's really awesome to see. Oh, Missed it. Oh. Wow. And there he was thinking about the cue ball. Yeah. What a contrast in shots. Yeah. Those two shots. Yeah. You almost saw him following the cue ball with his eyes yeah. then. Oh, Roberto, what have I done? When you make a mistake like that on Fetter, 99 out of 100 times, he's, he's going to pounce on it. Well, Mama Gorst will be very happy, Tony, up to now with what she's seen. Yeah. So he's going to hit it with follow, go to rails. Is he going to go in front of the nine or try to go on the other side of the nine? Wow, he missed it. He missed it. I don't think I've ever seen Fedor miss so many balls like that. Yeah. That's the third similar shot that he's missed like that. Remember the seven, remember the eight, yeah. and now the four. He's going to be practicing them Fedor next week. And believe me, even though he doesn't have a legitimate shot here, Roberto's happy to be at the table. Yeah. I wonder no. if he's thinking of going behind the four ball or if he's just going to try to put him behind the seven and put the four in front of the seven. No, he's just going to tap it. That's a dangerous shot. You have to hit the ball a lot softer than that, and you have to hit the ball thinner. I would have liked to have seen him go thin off and send the, the, yeah. the you know, you, you know why most the eight, uh, the eight there and bring the cue ball yeah. round. Well, you know why most players overhit that shot, Mark? Because a lot of times they don't trust the table. And when you decide you want to play a safe like that, and you have to hit it soft, you have to trust that the table is going to roll the way you want to. Yeah, this is a sensible shot. Well, Ooh, look at oh, that. look at the you 10. You better no. believe he's going to call the 10. Absolutely call the 10. Early 10s count, remember. This is nice because it means he's got to hit the, the four thicker, so he's not looking for a really, really thin cut on this. Oh, wow. Hung it. Hit it just a hair too thick. So close. Yeah, just a little bit thinner. Cue ball could have gone close as well off of the six, Tony. Mm-hmm. This is an interesting shot. I think he'll cut it to the left, top left-hand pocket and draw one rail. I think he's going. Yeah, or is he going to go to the right-hand pocket and then come short of the side pocket and come left, back come right. back over? What a shot. Oh. He might have laid a couple of ghosts to rest mm -hmm. there with that shot. Yeah. Well, that's an easier shot. The other one he has is a little tougher to pocket because when you're shooting from that angle mark, with your peripheral vision, you can actually see the upper pocket on the right-hand side, so it gives you a better idea of how to aim it. When you're going the other way, it's a blind angle shot, so you have to really be that much more accurate and trust the spot that you picked on the ball. Oh, this is a, a funny first frame, isn't it, Rack, in the second set? Neither player has taken their chances. There's been plenty of them. Just one rail. He's not going to hit this hard. Look like he's about to. Right? He takes those long strokes sometimes, and you get the sense he's going to hit it hard. Well, 
if he wins this title, he's certainly come through the hard way. So many shootouts he suffered. Oh, yeah. And that tells me one thing. His technique is solid. I'm not sure if you were witness to the the big shootout last night, Justin Martin, as we see Fedor make that 10 ball. Takes the first rack. Between uh, Justin Martin and, and uh, Jan, Jan Dan? Yeah, Jan, Jan Van Lee Rock. Yeah, that was, a, that was, that was a best, my favorite shoot on the entire event. It's 15-14. Yeah, and a new record. The, the record before that was... 13 in a row, I think, right? Uh, no, no Kioi against Jesus Asensio, 14-13. So, yeah, it's taken over the record. There was actually a higher one than that between Dennis Grabe and Chang Jun Lin mm. in Las Vegas earlier in the year, but that was before they changed the rule after the first four innings for the diamond to shrink back by one. Gotcha. So they was only playing from the kitchen line, basically. Okay. Well, in my opinion, I think the two most improved players this year on this tour have been Sharik Sayed and Justin Martin. Yeah, and two of the hardest working. That oh, yeah. tells you something, doesn't yeah. it? It sure does. And I think Justin, even though he's out of the tournament, he had. I'm, I'm very incredibly proud of him. He played incredible this entire event. But he outbroke. He, he broke way better than anyone in, in the tournament. I mean, that that kid was crushing. You guys said you said yourself. You could hear the break from the other side of the room when yeah. you were doing commentary. He was, on, he was on the last table furthest from us, and you could still hear him breaking. And there's no doubt in my mind that he should definitely be considered for a possible candidate for the Moscone Cup at some point. Yeah, maybe next year yeah. or the year after. I'm sure it will mm -hmm. happen one day. What about you? Any oh. aspirations? As long as I have my pool table at home and I'm playing my straight pool, I'm happy. Especially if I have my boy. And of course, the boss. So, Fedor. What does he do here? What do you think? You think he's going to. I think he's jumping. You think he's going to do a double jump here? Oh. Or, or can he clear the. Uh, the 10 ball. Get the replay ready. <laughs> Get the replay ready. Uh, he's called the upper right. So he's going to play the bank here, I think. Okay. But that would be some shot, right? The, the double jump. Don't be surprised if he double jumps this, guys. We've seen him do it before. We've seen Jesus Asensio do it before. Double jump, watch. He called the six, right? That's what he did. Yeah, he called the six. Yeah, he called the six, yeah. Oh, so close. Yeah. The man is so talented. I remember you made a famous call on the, the on a, when I was doing commentary with you, I believe. Federer uh, jumped the ball and drew it back for perfect oh, position. Remember on that the one? Two in the side. Yeah, yeah my favorite shot of all time. So, played it nicely, the combo. Nicely on the one. A little bit of congestion over there, though, Tony. Do you take a risk and go into them all here? Open things up a bit, take your chances on finishing on the two. If he can run into that nine ball and maybe get a pass of five, it might be worth the risk. But if he feels comfortable hitting the nine ball. If not, then I think... The, the, the correct shot would be make the one and play a safe on the two and put it in front of the eight, send the cue ball downtown be behind the nine or something. I mean behind the three, I'm sorry. But let's see. Oh, you ran into the four. Yeah, I, I didn't like that. I'm, I'm pretty sure he didn't want to run into the four. Has he got a shot on the two? Does it pass the set, the eight? I don't, th I don't know if he can hit enough. I know he can't. He can't. No, He's he going to try to put him behind the ten ball. Oh, 
Oh, not even. He didn't even try to put him behind. He tried to put him behind the three ball. Interesting shot. There you saw when it came off that rail, checked yeah. over. Believe it or not, you know what's another possible shot he had there? Hit it the way he did, but hit it with more speed and have the cue ball spin around and go towards the nine and the five. But it's a riskier shot because you can potentially scratch. But he left him a pretty pretty decent kiss here. Don't be surprised if Federer hits this. And after he kicks the two ball, the cue ball actually draws back behind the eight. Hmm. Not sure uh, what he tried to do nah, there. I'm not sure what he I'm, tried. I was shocked that he hit it center ball. A little bit out of sorts at the moment. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure what he's trying to do there. He's a... S oh, he, he did hit it low. He did that, I'm aiming in the center and hit the cue ball low thing again. Ah. Never mind, yeah. It's funny, he, he aims center ball to hit draw, and he aims to the felt to hit draw. Me, I aim draw to hit draw. What's wrong with that picture? I'm the only one doing it the correct way, and they're both in the final. What's wrong with that picture? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh my God. head up. Wow. Well, that is a, a schoolboy error. Look, his head was up off the queue. Did he leave him a shot or an easy safe? Oh, he left him, left him a shot. As he gets is he going to play time, safe, or is he going to try to go for the bank? Or, or? No, he's oh yeah, he's got to go for right, this. High right, four into the bottom right hand corner, and then he's going to bank the four, and then maybe shoot the combination or the billiard. So if he decides to go for the combination he's probably going to stun follow this forward a bit slowly so that way he can get on, on that side of the five if not maybe he might just play to come off the rail and do the billiard oh he took it out try to take it out he's suffering he's trying to come behind it maybe yeah. and just yeah. kick it away from the rail just glanced off it on the way there. Well, you know what I'm going to say. Straight pool. <laughs> I just leave it at that. I can imagine wow. you going door to door with yeah. a straight pool Bible trying <laughs> to convert people. Yeah. Forward, forward by <laughs> Mark White. <laughs> throw, throw away your nine ball and ten ball. Yeah, unfortunately, he didn't hit that the way he wanted to and left an easy save, so. Roberto, all he can do here is hope that if he hits it, that he ends up getting a shot for an opportunity to tie it one apiece. There's somebody at the door, darling. Yes, it's that Tony Robles trying to convert us again to straight ball. <laughs> Not religion, straight pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look look at that. He's played that beautifully. Very good shot. Wow. Got a little bit fortunate, you can say. You need that sometimes. I wonder, if he can, wonder if he can shoot the combo or go underneath the five ball and then hit it with follow and have the cue ball creep up. No, he's going to go for the combo. He's going to have to hit it with some speed, though. Wow, to come he back did down hit it with he, some speed. Well, he has to. He has don't to come back down. The, don't catch the... Oh, it hasn't. Little bounce now. Yeah, but he didn't get the bounce he wanted. I think it's still on, Tony. Oh, just... I think he just caught a little bit of the point there, and he just took a little bit of pace out of it. He's still on yeah, it, Yeah, I though. think he's looking to see if he's... I don't think he's, he's going to come short of the pocket. Ooh, ooh. Well, this is what they call the blood test. Test of nerves right here. Yeah, that's an English billiard shot, that is. And that's one of the 
default positions for, we call it an in-off, you call mm -hmm. it a scratch. Even though it didn't go in? Yeah, well, I'm just saying that. Wow, that look how good he hit that, Mark. shot we play it. Yeah, beautiful shot. Good queuing off the rail. Mm -hmm. Long distance, just off straight. Very nice. This man's come to play. It's the final of the 2022 Fargo rate. Ohio Open. Oh, he came across wow. that. Wow. wow. I'm, really. th I'm, th I'm thinking to myself, he needs to focus on making the ball and forget about what the big he, he. There's no doubt in my mind he felt uncomfortable. I, I, if he felt uncomfortable, he should have gotten up. Even if he has to call an extension, call the extension. But, but, but you know, Look at click, the click, click the refresh button like you would on a, a computer, on a, on a page, a web page that doesn't load. Click the refresh button. What a gift. Wow. And imagine after making a shot like the eight ball, the previous shot. Oh, that was hurt, Roberto. No matter how much he laughs and jokes around, we're going to go for a break, guys. But we'll be back again, of course, with the conclusion of the final. So Feder Gorst got a gift. You don't look a gift Gorst in the mouth, you take it. That's right. I like that. 2-0 breaking to go on the hill. Let's see how he does here. He hit those nice. Oh, he hit, hit those nice. Beautiful. That one ball was going towards that side, but again, as always, Mark, it's always had that ball going two rails and interfering with the one. And you notice he's gone back to the side again, breaking, Tony. He'd yeah. been date look, one, just two. off center, then center. Yeah. Now he's gone back to the side again. And a chance for... It's a chance, but he really Roberto. needs to let go of that mistake. And I'm wondering if the two is dead off the four and the kiss, because if it is, he doesn't have to get perfect on the two ball. It doesn't even have to. Stroked it in nice. Yeah. So he can forget about mm -hmm. the mistake and carry on. Where's the three ball? Oh, it's down by the 10. Mm -hmm. Look, there it is. Yeah, he has a little in between them. Well, we want to see a final. We want Roberto to come back. We want it to go all the way, at least in this set, if not a shootout. And we love our shootouts, don't we? Everyone does it. It just gathers a massive crowd here. I mean, there are over 1,000 people here for this... Uh, Ohio Amateur Open. And those, oh, I just missed them. I'll point them out next time we go. Those two there. The man in the very brightly colored orange shirt and his wife have been here every day. They've sat there every day. Thoroughly enjoying themselves. Yeah, very nice couple. Met them a couple of days ago, very nice. Took a couple of pictures. They asked Did he me get there? Did he get there? They asked oh, yeah. me for a picture, so I said, yeah, sure. And then they yeah. stood together and gave me their camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Low on the cue ball. Coming round Good two shot. Rails. Good shot. Nice. He got on the correct side of the eight ball. So we end up on the other side of the nine and then just roll it down. Rolling. Rolling. 
Rolling down the apex. <laughs> yep. This is better stuff. But you better believe he's going to fight back. He's not going to give in. Well, look at the semi-final against Declan yeah. Catchy. You thought he was out of it. He's not out of it. Yeah. He's right back in it. Two, one now. And I love the way Fedor straight out of his seat, win or lose the rack, and getting those balls out yeah. of the pocket. A thoroughly gentlemanly man, isn't he? He's yeah. a great guy. That's right. Talking about the pocket, why don't you tell us a bit about the equipment that's being used for this event, Mark? Well, yeah, we're using the, the nine-foot Predator Apex table with the Arcadia cloth on it mm -hmm. from Predator also. The Predator Arcos two balls. The Predator Aero Rack, which John Lehman is just putting back underneath the table. He saw the, the lit-up legs as well of the Predator table. And above it, it's all lit up with the Predator Arena light. Well, let's see if he puts a little extra oomph on this break. I say breaking off of the Predator yeah. Q. There you go, see? I told you, he possesses one of the most powerful breaks in pool. And when when they're not breaking well, nice roll there. When they're not breaking well, it, it, it surprised me that it took him this long to start hitting them with the, or hitting the rack with, with, with the power, with more power. Yeah, he certainly got it, hasn't he? Got a little split a shot there, the 10 and the 2, to create an opening for the 2-ball. And of course, we support Paul in general, so it's not all about Predator, of course. There's lots of other equipment out there to choose from. It's entirely up to you which you want to use. Well, let's see if he makes a 2-ball. Oh, did he overhit that? Oh, oh, wow, he hit that great. I don't know if that's what he intended. I don't think he I intended to run into the ball. So. I think he was trying to shorten the angle to play the three ball in the corner pocket, the opposite corner pocket on the side. But maybe he was trying to run to the four. Who knows? He'll take it. Yeah. yeah a little it's bit of a tricky okay, positional good. shot here. Can he go behind the six, Tony? Yeah. And yeah, play he's going to go into just, the same pocket. He just has to decide if he wants to play the four in the side or in the four in the corner. See? He's going to play Where in the other corner. That corner, way yeah. he, he has options. He doesn't have to get perfect on the four to have an opportunity to play a uh, position on the five ball. That's why I like that shot better. When If you try to play in the side, you have to get too perfect. If you come short, then now you got to come down the table and then back up the table. Don't get straight. Don't get straight. He heard you. Slight angle, I think. Yeah, he's got enough to work with there. It doesn't hurt to play the six in, in, in the side if he can if he can't get it out. Oh, he can get it out. And notice the speed he hit it with. He hit it at a speed where he won't sacrifice a shot if he hits it a little bad. I love that. Two rails. Straight on the seven, if possible. That way, you can uh, you don't have to do anything fancy to get on the eight ball. Don't sacrifice a shot. Let the cue ball do what it has to do. You gotta do what you gotta do. That's right. You sound just like the Godfather. <laughs> the Godfather of commentators. I like that. That's. That's your nickname, the Godfather of Commentators. Podfather. <laughs> Little spin there. Widen up the angle a bit. And we have a tied ball game, Mark. 2-2. Two, yeah, two. This, is, this is by no means over this match. The crowd loving it. They want to see lots more pull. So do we. We don't want it to end. I can already hear Roberto in his head. I want my first U.S. Open title. <laughs> you know, he has that, that accent. He's such, a, he's such a great kid to be around. He really is. He's always fun. There's Katie Scott, the CSI 
event manager. She's responsible for putting on the big CSI event that you can see to your right. The league players all year long They're working. There she is. And Amy Kane. The dream team. Most people Scott have and zero Kane. clue how hard they, they work. Yeah, it's tough work. I mean, I've spent time with Amy in the offices there in Henderson, yeah. in Las Vegas, and the phone never stops ringing. Let's see if Superman is gonna put his super strength into this one. He tried to, he just didn't yeah, hit the cue ball in it. the center. He has all that spin in the cue ball. You know, once you, once, once you hit the cue ball on the side, you're no longer hitting the mass or the center of the ball, so you're not transferring all of the energy to the rack. It takes away some speed and some power. Yeah, it almost caught the, yeah. the left-hand side, the second ball almost. Fortunately for him, he didn't give him a, a peek at the one ball. What's he looking at here, Tony? I'm not sure if he's thinking of a jump shot or... He's looking to see if the four passes the seven, I think. Yeah. Is he thinking of going for this? How does he get to the two? No, I don't think he's, he's thinking of going for this. I think he's trying to figure out where to push out. He's thinking... I think his push out is going to depend on going to depend on whether but the four the, goals or not. He's got the jump cue in his hand. Does he? Oh, no, he does? No, 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 no. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't no. look like a jump no, cue. No, it's not jump cue. I think he might have a jump cue in his hand next time he comes to the table if Roberto puts him back. <laughs> Hang on a minute, I'm just finishing my lunch. He says, no, he's like, do I really have Go to tell then. you to shoot again or do you know? <laughs> really? <laughs> now the jump cue comes out. Gonna draw across. I guess he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna draw across. Okay. Well, he didn't get the draw he wanted. I think he definitely wanted more action than that. Let's take a look at that jump shot again. Look at the form. He didn't move anything. Yeah, guys in the chat, who do you think? He's the best jumper in the world. Yeah. Well, who do I think is the best jumper? No, not you. I'm not interested in what you think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, over here, I was about to say that this shot right here, this inning, might very well be the turning point of the match, depending what happens after this shot. Can he just shave the two here? He can shave the two and hit it like super. Oh, no, he can't. He can't. He's going to try to shorten the, the angle coming off the top rail by hitting with low. See that? Wow, yeah. what a shot. And look, did he get away with it? No. Nope. But remember earlier, he was looking to see that four ball win? Yes. What a, <laughs> yeah. what a great attempt, though. Yeah. What, see, look how look he bent the that. ball. Yeah. That was just a fraction off, Tony. What was that? It was just a fraction off making that. Yeah. Oh, the house would have come down if he made that one. I don't think he's going to like where he got on this ball, unless the four does go past the seven. That's what Fedor was looking at on his very yeah. first visit to the table. You see some high left on this. Oh, beautifully struck. Yeah. Beautifully struck. And what I like about that is how nearly straight he got on the four ball. Because, you know, when you can only fit one Mack truck in there, you have just a, just one ball, the straighter or the closer you are to the ball, the easier it is to pocket. Oh, he moved oh. that six ball. <laughs> so he's smiling at. Yeah. I think he needed to stop chewing before he shot that one. He can play this in the <laughs> bottom corner and just No, he has over. an angle on the five. I thought he was straight six. on the five. He's good here. Yeah, he's good. Still mm -hmm. not happy, hasn't come yeah, far you have enough. To forget about that. You have an opportunity to take to go on the hill first and breaking. He just probably 
maybe he has an angle where if he hits it with follow, he's going to hit the seven dead straight and to the rail to the point where he can't get the cue ball out the way. Oh, I'm not saying the fans have got a favorite, but I'm sure they'd love to see Roberto yeah. Gomez after three finals mm -hmm. finally lift the trophy. Yeah. I will hit a little bit of left to make sure that I throw the ball a little bit to that side. Played it well. He's got an angle on it, can just draw back for the set eight into the same pocket. I like drawing here, past the eight, leave it by the spot, slightly past the spot. Just like that. That way he has an angle to come two rails for the nine. Did he overspin that? Oh, for a second there, I thought he overspun the ball. He's, he's actually got perfect angle. He has a perfect angle to just draw past the 10. Focus on just making the ball. Well, he has been winning tournaments yeah. lately. I know mm -hmm. he won a Banks tournament. He won a one-pocket tournament, I believe. He's playing well. Yeah, and yet, I can't get, and yet I can't get him to play straight ball. I've been trying to convince him since yesterday. Let it go. Let it go. I told you, let it go, Tony. <laughs> well, oh, he's on the hill. 3-2 Gomez. Is there another shootout coming? We've seen plenty of them. Referee John Lehman there. Getting ready. Roberto psyching himself up. Has he finished lunch? Is he about to have mm -hmm. dessert? What's he going to have to for dessert, I wonder? There's the lovely couple. Look, chatter. They've got actually got a, a stack full of billiards magazines. Oh, wow. And every time they see somebody around the wow. arena who's in that magazine, they go and get them to sign. That's great. And I went up and they said, no, you're not in the magazine. No. <laughs> you see, get them nice and tight. You might have just seen a little mark on that triangle there. That gets it right on the spot. There's Sean. Talking about magazine, I don't understand why no one's done an interview with you. Oh, they have. Oh, okay. I'm in, I'm in the um, Sneaky Pete Mafia magazine. I'm in the Mafia Michelle <laughs> magazine. <laughs> You're in there, that, the that, silent assassin. That's why you're talking like a gangster today? What are you going to do? Yep, there you go. Oh, unleash, right unleash. Off. If you get those balls moving, you have a better chance of pocketing a ball. Oh, I was going to say, if that one would have come out, look at the 110 it would have been if the one would have just yeah. come out. Watch this 10 ball, Tony. Look, it's going to get kicked in a second by something. Here it is by the nine, look. Yeah. And then if that one would have just come out a little yeah. bit, can he still play the billiard? Absolutely. Could he play the billiard? Absolutely. Oh, this, Did could, he call be, it? this could be the set. It could be the set. Yes, yeah. he's playing it. Mm -hmm. I'm excited now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we could be going to a shootout. He has to make a decision what speed he wants to hit the one ball so that way he doesn't think about it when he's trying to play the billiard. That's it right there, Mark. Oh, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope. no. Nope. Oh, what a chance that was. Just caught it too fat. Caught it on the wrong side. Let's have another look. If he could have just caught the rail higher up. Yeah. Oh. Now, does he go for this in the corner? Come across the table. It all depends for the three. on how he feels whether or not he can get on the three. I, if he can go, don't be surprised if he tries to bring this cue ball right between the side pocket and the three. I mean, he's the best I've ever seen with that shot. The other option is bank at four rails and lead the cue ball up table, but I can't see why he would want to do that. Yeah, well, I'm not exactly I'll sure what you try to do here. He is looking very, very shaky at the moment, Fedor yeah. Gorst. If, if I had to take a guess, I think he wanted to put a little more spin on the cue ball to, to stop it behind the four, five, seven. Doesn't matter who you are in situations like this, Tony. Nerves yeah. come into play. Doesn't matter who you are. We're all human at the end of the day. He may play like a machine. Yeah but he's got a beating heart and blood running through those veins. That's right. 
No, no matter how good you are, you can't play perfect every day. It's impossible. That doesn't mean that you should stop trying. Michael Jordan can never say he never missed a basket. He just missed less than the rest of the NBA. And that's kind of where Federer is at this point in his career. Even though you see him make mistakes now, he makes far less mistakes than the rest of the tour, which is why he's been so successful. That doesn't mean he's, he's never going to make a mistake. Yeah, he just shot more baskets. Oh, he missed that. Oh, dear. He missed that. He, I think he, this, he might have a tight ball game here, Mark. Yeah, look it's at this. It's not an easy shot. That's not an easy shot that he, he, he attempted there. It's not an easy shot. Still have to hit it good. Yeah, he was trying to do a bit with the cue ball as well. Instead of just rolling it in, he had to force it across and back over. Well, if he rolled that, he would have scratched on one side or the other. The cue ball would have tailed off on him with the angle he had. It would have slid a bit. Look at that three, four, five, and six and seven all next to each other it's just a nice little series of stuns and runs through we still don't know still could be either of them slightly the wrong side of this as well yeah and if he doesn't play the five in the corner worst case scenario you could always stick him under the seven right He's going to play the five up into the corner. Mm -hmm. Assessing the angle. Walking on line. He comes back again. Just checking that angle. Picking the spot on the five. Visualizing it. Getting his stance in line for it. A few little practice strokes. slow back very nice pause and in it goes now that to me was the perfect shot personified his his complete approach to that shot tony the pre-shot routine yeah. was absolutely exquisite that's one of the major reasons why he's so consistent he gives every shot the same level of respect Almost forgot we were playing with a shot clock. We haven't heard it, have we? Mm -hmm. Very much. And the 9-10 is totally on. Yeah. He won't be potting four balls. He, he'll pot three. Slide it over to about where it's at or a little short of that. Mm, well. He didn't quite get there, so he might have to go two rails here. Yeah, I like going two rails here and then pass the spot by about a foot. And you don't necessarily need to hit this with inside spin. Just make the ball with follow and just go across. Doesn't You don't have to get that close to the nine if the combo's on. Just like that. Yep, this then to tie up the match at 3-3. Three, three. We're going to go Hill Hill. The next rack. Well, for Gomez, this is essential. If Gorse can win it, he'll lift the trophy. Along Tight with ball it, game. The title. A Fargo rate, a higher open champion. And we'll be back straight away in one minute, guys. Not for long.
welcome back Fedor Gorse breaking on the hill. If he wins it, he will win the title of Fargo Rape 2022 Open Champion of Ohio. Let's have a look. Did he leave him a shot? Can't quite see. Let's have a look at the break again, Tony. Didn't really hit him with much, did he? Mm -mm. He tried to. That little bump on the nine slowed down that. You can see the one, ball. but well, he can make it. Yeah. He can make this and come round two rails. Look where he's mm -hmm. pointing the cue and get on the two ball. I want to say hi to Christine's Late Christina's Lateva, one of the great female players from Bulgaria. Hi. Oh great. How are you? Hi, Christina. We'll be seeing her in Puerto Rico. She says she's enjoying the commentary. Oh, he's played this lovely look. He's come all the way round to get on the two ball. Christina, very talented left hander. Keep practicing, Christina. You're getting there. Roberto getting there as well. And it looks like the 7 8 billiard might be on if the 7 doesn't go into the corner pocket. Pretty sure you probably looked at that before he even started the run. Wondering, have I got to play another shootout? <laughs> well, he has the opportunity to do so. Oh, 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 no. Do you know, he, Fedor Gors has played five shootouts out of six matches. Well, he, might not, he might not have to do it now, Mark. Wow. And that is one of them shots that yeah. you know are on, isn't it? Just didn't get enough English on the it's cue just ball. That when you have that type of an angle, it's very tough to get the ball to grab, the spin to grab on the cue ball when you're still playing on a new felt. On a worn-out cloth, all day long, you get that pass the side pocket with no problem. That's what he tried to do. Yeah, these new slick cloths, you need to... Put a little bit more on. They don't grab as much, do they? Look at that shot. Oh, Look terrific. Shot. What a clever shot. I was wondering yeah. if you were wondering how he was going to get on the yeah. seven. There's your answer. Yep. That could be the wow. shot that wins him this year's 2022 Fargo Rate Ohio Open Championship to add to already two Arizona Opens that he's got. And it's very well deserved, Mark. And if you remember earlier on when Roberto Gomez played that one ball off the six and played it too hard, that was a big changing point, wasn't it, in this yeah, match? it's true. And it's a similar shot there yeah, that Gorsh has played that, that could that. actually win it for him. Yeah. So, seven, eight, nine, and ten for $25,000. First prize here. He's been there before, but his heart will be pumping. Slow up, he's okay. He's absolutely perfect, in fact, just stunning this nine ball, he knows, as he walks round. Two shots away. Just stop that cue ball. He's running it through a little bit, there we go. This ten ball to win the title wait for the applause and in it, it goes he is your champion guys please stay with us because we will be back very very soon with the presentation of the trophy live thanks so much for joining us we'll be back very very soon
Magic. Welcome back. We're going to hand over to the presentation party now. Mr. John Lehman will lead the proceedings. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the trophy ceremony of the 2022 Fargo Rate Ohio Open, hosted here at the Roberts Center in Wilmington, Ohio. Before we begin, on behalf of the tournament's organization, I would like to thank the partners and sponsors who made this event happen. Fargo Rake, Schaefer Entertainment, Q Sports International, Brother McHugh, Alpha Coins, Kamui, Cybert, and Medallia Light. Now please welcome our presentation committee, Mr. Chris Williams, of Schaefer Entertainment. And Miss Amy Kane of Q Sports International. And now to receive the trophy and the winner's check for $25,000, your champion of the 2022 Fargo Rate Ohio Open. Mr. Fedor Gorsh! Trophy 
ceremony. Thank you for being here. We hope you love the event. Come back next year where we'll see you again at the Ohio Open. And we wish to see you in a few weeks at our next event in Puerto Rico. Have a great night, everybody. Well, thank you so Today's much for the, for the last four you days. The it's been an absolute blast. We will be back in Puerto Rico, 14th of November. We appreciate all your viewers, all your comments. Thank you so much. See you soon from Tony Robles and myself, Mark White. It's goodbye from Ohio. It's Ohio. It's Obio.